Hey everybody, it's John here, and in this video we're gonna take a look at how we can summarize text values in a pivot table and output only the unique values. So in a previous video, I showed how you could take a set of data and then summarize some text values in the pivot table like this. So here we've got some car makes and car models. And then in this pivot table, what's happening is for each of the car makes, I've got the model listed here as a comma separated list. And you can see that where there's multiple models, so here I've got F series twice, then in the model list here, I've got F series repeated. Now, someone asked after that video, how can you get this list here so that it only shows unique values? So here I'd only wanna see F series once, same with Mustang and Taurus. Now, if you want to see how to do this original version, I'll link to that video in the description below. But to fix this up so that it only shows the unique values, let's take a look at how we can do that. So over in my pivot table fields list, I'm going to right click on here and we can either add a new measure for this or actually what I'm really going to do is right click and edit the current measure that's producing this values here. And you can see that that's using the concatenate X function here. And I'm just gonna hold control and use my scroll wheel to increase this a little bit. And what we're doing is we're concatenating values from this vehicles table here. So that's my entire set of data right here. And the value we're concatenating is the model column right here. And then we're concatenating it with a comma. So separating each of those values out by a comma. Now to get only the unique values, what I'm gonna do is instead of concatenating over the whole entire table of data, what I'm gonna do is use the values function. And if you take a look at what the values function says here, it says it returns one column table or a table that contains the distinct or unique values in a column. So that sounds exactly like what we want. So let's try that out. And the values function takes the name of a table or a column name. So in our case, we're gonna input the vehicle model column. And let's just close off that value function. And now what we're gonna do is concatenate over the distinct values in the vehicle model column. And again, we're still just going to return those values in our concatenation and again, separate them with a comma. So let's press okay and edit that formula. And you can see that that's exactly what we now have. So we now have a list of unique values in our pivot table. So that's how you can summarize text values in a pivot table, but only show the unique values. So we can use the values function to get the unique values. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.